and welcome to another episode of Car Maintenance. Today we are going to be changing the radiator in this AU Fairlane gear. Now I know it's got a crack in it because when it came up to temperature it's been spitting out fluid on this side. So now we have to do is start taking off all of the plastics and get this thing out. I'm going to uh, time lapse most of this, but I'll show you the hard parts that you have to disconnect. I don't know if you can actually see this, but there's been spray coming off onto this, these hoses here. Now I usually keep my engine bay uh, tight, sort of tidy at least, and you can tell that's where all the fluid's been spitting out of. So that was a little bit harder than what I expected. Uh, the front condenser for the air conditioning system um, has two 10 millimeter bolts, but to get to those bolts, you have to take the bottom flat off the car, which was fun because whoever's taken this off and done the radiator change before me had all eight, no sorry, seven millimeter sockets and one 10 on this. So after removing that, I had access to the bottom part of the radiator. Now underneath there you've got uh, the two bolts that are like this, they're aluminium, they go straight into the front condenser. Now if you don't want to decompress your air conditioning system, you have to remove the front condenser without removing these bolts, but because my air conditioning system is currently getting replaced, it's okay my system was already disconnected. So I had to take out two of these, one which I had to access from the front by removing the grill, which is four plastic grommets, screws, to access just in behind here, was the first, and the other one was underneath the car, which made it hard trying to use the large socket set, so I luckily, there was enough strength in me to get it out with the tiny socket set underneath there. Next, you need to remove the fans off the front, out they come. Then, you make sure you remove your uh, transmission lines out of, the, out of the radiator. Now, I think there are seven, 17 uh, on, on the side. You take both of those off. You take the top radiator, the bottom radiator, and the radiator fill off. Now, one of those was a clip which you use pliers to off. The other two were screws or uh, 10 millimeter bolts, which are the same. They, they have a screw and a uh, bolt on. Then the radiator should slip straight out. Now I made a bit of a mess because I couldn't get to the radiator release plug on the side, so it all went on my driveway, unfortunately. But Usually, I would drain it out of the, of the radiator release plug. Alright, time to go and get the radiator, the brand new one, and I'll, uh, I'll show you how to try and get it back in there. Alright, so brand spanking new radiator. Now this is just the radiator, it's not the uh, front condenser, because my front condenser is actually full of crap, so I'm not putting it back in this time around. This is the brand spanking new radiator. Looks nice, doesn't it? Alright. Now, if I was to do a if I was to swap the condenser over, it's those four bolts. One, two, three, four. And they would fit around on this side. Now I do have the clips, they are in the box, but I'm not gonna fit them on just yet. Because I've not uh, not fitting the condenser in yet. Alright, time to slip this back in. Alright, so, radiator. Get it the right way. Get 
it slips right down here, just like it is. Now there's two little grommets with holes, which these little things on the bottom side slip straight into. That's one, slip straight in. Two, slip straight in. Now, I'm going to connect my first transmission line. Second, slip that in there too. Thirdly, pop the other uh, lines back on, onto the, uh, the radiator, and slip the fan back in, and make sure I plug that all back in all the same harness that it's uh, locked into. Alright, I'm going to time lapse, time -lapse this now so that uh, I get this done quicker. The camera went flat so I've had to go change over. But battery's connected, fans have been reinstalled, the wiring has been plugged back in, the intake for the filter has been reinstalled, the clips and the air filter have been re reinstalled, uh, the thermostat temperature has been reinstalled, and the battery's been clamped down. Now I'm not putting on the, the underpiece uh, because Next week, I'm doing another video changing all the radiator hoses. So, now I'm just going to quickly fill it up and uh, we'll go for a quick drive. And that's how easy it is to replace the radiator in a 1999 AU Fairlane gear. If you see anything you like in these videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment questions or things I could be doing better in these videos. Leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button and get notified when I do these. Car maintenance videos, my daily vlogs, Urban World, Cooking with Craig, you name it, I film it, it ends up on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video.